The simple calibration method will give you the gallons per acre output for your broadcast or boom sprayer. To calibrate your boom sprayer, you will need a measuring tape, two marking flags, a measuring cup that measures in fluid ounces, and a stopwatch. First, begin by filling the tank of your boom sprayer to the halfway point with clean water. Make sure the boom sprayer is operational and that the spray nozzles are not clogged and have an even spray pattern. Then determine your nozzle spacing in inches. Match your nozzle spacing to the distance listed in the calibration table. This calibration distance provided to the corresponding nozzle spacing will be in feet. This calibration distance will be the distance you will need to drive your boom sprayer to properly calibrate. When measuring the calibration distance, mark the start and end points with flags to make it easier for timing. Set the throttle for the sprayer and drive the vehicle at a constant speed along the measured distance. Make sure you are at the desired speed before you reach the first marking flag and that your speed is maintained until you have passed the last marking flag. Failure to reach a constant speed prior to the start of the calibration distance can alter calibration results. When you reach the first marking flag, begin the timer on the stopwatch. Note the seconds it takes to reach the end marking flag. Repeat this process at least twice or until you feel the time it takes you to drive the measured distance is consistent. Once you feel you have a set travel time, it is time to collect spray volumes from the boom. With the machine part, turn on the boom sprayer at the engine speed used in the calibration distance. Place an empty measuring cup under one of the boom nozzles for the number of seconds recorded during the calibration distance. The ounces collected within that time are equal to the gallons per acre output of your boom sprayer. Because boom sprayers have multiple nozzles, repeat the water collection process to ensure all nozzle outputs are similar. If you'd like to increase your gallons per acre, repeat the entire process but slow your calibration travel speed. If you would like to decrease your gallons per acre, increase your calibration travel speed. Continue to repeat the calibration procedure until the desired rate of gallons per acre is achieved.